Hey guys, this is Shapov in Armada Studio and today I would like to show you the project uh, how was created the track Valhalla with my friend Nerek. Um, so it's actually out now on the Armint uh, recording and uh, so yeah, let's go to the project to see what's going on there. So there is like future ape sound with uh, techno things going on and percussion. Uh, the, the first we did it, there is like was important to found what is going to be, and I think the idea was super great and make excited that it's like using live drum percussion, um, like lead synth going like um, and uh, some good kick and bass line. So let's see. For that idea of the synth, mainly synth, uh, this one I mean. That's kind of nice sound to which make the groove for, for the whole track and uh, so there is like, you see the notes, uh, there is. It's pretty old school scene, but uh, by the company tell it's called Bus Line uh, 101. Uh, it's like actually you see a lot of uh, waveforms here, and it seems like really cool for the sounding of this lead because it's making fat, you know. Sometimes if you go like other scenes like Serum, like Silent, it's. Um, have also great waveforms, but I was feeling this one can be really fit for that sound. Of course, we have saturation processing on that sound. If I off this, like it will be like this. You see, there is kind of nothing happened. So I used this Maserati things from Waves Company. I used for a long time. So it gives me more face feeling than I got. A bit saturation, kind of culture vulture things, uh, but it's like in the logic overdrive. You see, there's like you can put the drive out, then you can make your tone of distortion like. Nice, and then I got some equalization for that. <laughs> you see, there is pretty. Uh, Tough stuff here going on. Uh, there's like dynamic range on the synth uh, via the frequencies. That if you have lit like pam pam pam, sometimes you need every spectrum of the frequencies give you the feeling. And it's important to have this in dynamic mode to get feels uh, more deep, you know, like. Then we got this interesting plugin by the other life. Uh, I using there is like make uh, the big room effect of uh, big reverb like shimmer stuff. Let's listen what's going on when I put this. It's getting bigger. Just good effect be before the drop, and then. I got uh, Echo Boy, which is cool one. It's getting like um, effect delay by the stereo, like ping pong stuff. It's, it's, uh, giving, it's giving extra d dynamic to your uh, groove, you know, which is cool sometimes if you have the section like pam 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 and it's, you use this, it's getting like more speed to your music, which is nice. And also you can, for example, use just delay, you see, I just off, like simple, but with this one is cool. Okay, and the simple filter, just cut unknown frequencies around 
And then I got sending bus. I use virtu virtual tape machines uh, to give the sound more analog color, you know, and see there is more like deep now. And then just a bit of equalization. Also SUS, everybody know this plugin. It's like the SR. Then I got empirical lab distressor again. Some to give some compression to the sound. The glue, so like it's for everything to get your sound in the face. And then we got this to the build up. Yeah, and then we got um, some percussions here, like kick and bass going uh, here's the kick I used kick 2 for this uh, it's pretty clean mm, you know the kick 2 is really great for the mix down when you uh, want to hear mm, precision of your scenes and everything that sounds like really clear the kick 2 is good for that but sometimes uh, with kick 2 it's uh, difficult to put this in the, your mix down because it's so clean, you know. So that is we have um, bass line. Look. So it's groovy bass line, uh, which make good effect and it works uh, both together with main lead. Uh, so I use the uh, spire for that sound, of course side chain. This one actually really great side chain, uh, new one by Nicky Romero. It's you can um, right now side chain from your kick, you know, and uh, it works really great. Then you have sub bass line. So to give more deep feeling to your bass, you know, you, so, so sometimes you can just um, add this just a bit, not too much, and that it works together with the kick. Let's listen. Then we put the lead. Ah, yeah, we have also extra one lead. It's from Diva, it's something like the black sound. It's give also a little bit dynamic of your song. Yeah, this is kind of good techno feeling here, right? On this uh, area and uh, then the main lead, which makes more feeling of big stage, is this one. It sounds sexy and at the same time groovy, which I like uh, using in, in my production. So there's... and of course we're adding some percussion there that it's some more elements are working to hold the picture. Let's see. So I think this is super cool, you know, because there's many elements with this groove and it's getting something interesting. Let's see what is this. Okay. There is like African stuff. 
like make ethno ethno feeling to your music, then we have claps. Then we have kind of this thing. It's like noise, you go into the pan this, you know, and it works super cool. And then we have this sound. Which actually super cool I use there is from the library of Kashmir. I just cut the section because I like the sound. I put here delay things. Now if you just off the plugins, it will be just like right. And I guess that there is I change the sample note and then I use shimmer on this reverb then I was feeling that needs some delay on this as well okay, and some equalization and it's actually super cool so it gives so nice atmosphere to the the track you know and uh, then we go, it's like um, the idea was next uh, to create some interesting percussion there and, uh, and direction of the track, what is going to be next. So let's listen. many stuff going on here there is like shakers like uh, bongos um, synth line and some uh, sequencer notes so let's see what's going on the shakers yeah I used I like used a lot of these things from universal audio distressor on the percussion menu sending this to the bass and then you just put the stressor, it gives to you all your percussion life feeling. And it's actually really, sounds really tr uh, um, punchy, transparent, and it's like you're feeling that it's here, you know, with you, which is nice. There is shaker groups. Then we got this yeah there put some I was there is some rim stuff going on like Sometimes when I do percussion like that I was uh, thinking about layering of the sounds that it hit me all right you know when i listen in the mix down yeah there are some effects uh on this as well If you hear there is like interesting techno elements as well, like plugs. Doing the melodies. One second. There is uh, from Juna, I guess, Arturia. Yeah, sound 
and as well this there was the process was the processing uh, was the saturation a bit of tape and stuff there is another plaque I guess it's scene plant yeah it's scene plant it's a really nice scene I use for long years this scene and it's like really interesting sounds there you can check there it's super interesting so this is the melody here There, then we go deep to the to the idea. It was great to have this uh, like live sample, voice sample. Because it really fits to the genre what was created here and super nice and fresh. There is. This is kind of nice African percussion. You see, there is stuff going on. There is like bongos and heat drum. Let's see what's going on here. There is. If I off the things from this, it will sound like this. And then explain what I did there. It's kind of cool, but for me it was too high sample and I was feeling that it needs to be lower. A bit was the frequency mode and a bit more in the face. For the percussion, sometimes I love to use saturation as well. Uh, instead I put some equalization, I just do first of all like to get in more closer sound. Then I got filter to low cut. Sometimes on the sound as well, um, if you use uh, like, of course it's important to use equalization on each sound, but sometimes you hear that sound, it's pretty good enough. It's in the middle there and if you put equalization, you just put many frequencies there, you can kill the sound. Sometimes instead of that, if you need just um, off low frequencies or high frequencies, just use the, it's my tip, just use the filters. It really works better and it's not kill your sound. It's actually sounds fat then. Then I did uh, this pitch shifter from Elastic, uh, called Elastic Pitch. Uh, I think it's the best one if compared to all pitch shifters because it's not kill um, when you change the uh, the tone of their sound. It's not kill uh, the transients and sounds really uh, clean to me. If you know what I mean, right? Then I got uh, Echo Boy as well. Delay, some side chain and filter again. And then I put on the bass. I use this one. I told you in this project, if you put the first one, the tape machine by Slay Digital, I think it's one of the best one. I used many tape machines. I was trying like uh, Universal Audio Starter. I tried Ampex, but I think this one is the cleanest one, in my opinion. But the thing is, when you put this, it uh, it uh, gives you deep feeling, but sometimes it, it can give you some harmonics on the sound as well, around 40, 50, and uh, you know, it's need this deepness in your sound, it's good to put tape machines. If you have this in your sound, better don't, don't put any tape machines, other case it will be saturated a bit in the mix down and distorted. Then I did some equalization there. Just in the mix down. Uh, just in the mix down to cut uh, uh, the frequencies which is conflicted with the rest of sounds. 
and of course distressor so to give the life to this sound listen It's like cool on there when kick go and then you have also impact. It's cool for there. It works with the percussion as well. So that's the thing. And then I created stack for that. Yeah. And everything is there. So we have shakers. So this is kind of new elements for this music and I like uh, was trying to use it and I think it works. So then we have scenes. If we go to the scenes we have this kind of. It uh, was created by the Narek. Uh, there is here's the sound I guess from the pigments Arturia. Yeah, pigments is really great synth if you use uh, like like morphine synth, if you know what I mean. Sometimes you have like uh, acetylators like uh, so, like and simple ones. But this one you can found some the sound you can like say that this is ID sound, you know, and it's morphine synth, and you can found some crazy things there. It's good for the techno music. I think a lot of people use as well this. Then we have like interesting uh, sequencer here. There is from Diva. I think for the kind of things it's great to use Diva because uh, there is a lot of um, techno feelings in this synth and also there is uh, like really close to hardware scenes uh, and I think it's cool. There is uh, inside good cutoffs and like um, delays, chorus and so cool effects there and uh, like really great for the your mix downs. So then we have The idea of the synth make the tremolo effect like the them. If I all of this, like it will be simple chord notes. But if you put the tremolo and see what's going on here, there is like you using the rate to get this, and then you go into normal wave, wave here. another layer on that it's like more like darkness then that was great idea for the groove uh, it was idea for the groove to add some extra melody like mm, some like dum 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 kind of ish uh, plug melody future rave stuff uh, so there is 
the notes of that in the sound. Diva and This kind of nice melody and it really works with the groove, you know. And uh, there is aerosol saturation, Valhalla delay, there is re reverberation from Data Life, and uh, I used SSL G bus compressor from Universal Audio on the sand to give feelings in the face a bit. another sound going it's like sealed confess plant by uh, kilohertz it's like really nice synth and there is cool effects you can check out as well it's kind of There's more percussion going on here. And there is like noisy clap. Then we have clap like this. And we have Yeah, there is nice stuff going on in the first drop. Uh, let's go to other section and see what we got next there. Yeah, you see there is elements from the drop here, there is like melody sound, just use different sound on that and the breakdown, I mean this one. It's super nice sound from the Hive, who as well, company, this is really nice. Um, there is amazing bass line in the breakdown that give attention what's going on nice one that is like gives you um, a big body to your stuff sometimes it's great to use long notes in the breakdown so you give atmosphere big atmosphere to your music Yeah, you see those elements, what was in the drop before, it 
also great sounding great in the breakdown it means there is this kind of small elements doing the great things sometimes it's great to produce music to using just elements of everything and mix down together in this case your production can be more interesting than easier than you use just simple sounds you can play with different kind of you can mix like upro percussions and you can mix like scenes and everything to, together and it will be something crazy you know that's the point of this track <laughs> Yeah, there is some effects from the scenes as well. I guess it's Arturia or, or Diva, just Boston place. From the serum as well. Uh, we used here tr the tremolo effect as well to get it. Yeah, then we got again this lead uh, it makes um we're going to the drop again we have this feeling which is nice it's all the things sound so crazy because it's big atmosphere and you're feeling like you're in space you know this kind of things with tremolo and like leads delays reverbs and everything what's going on with saturations has give that feeling let's go to second drop right there is like there's the sound you know there is like was feeling you something like got ice shower on your head like you know <laughs> and there's like really interesting sound it's from the serum nice right yeah there is from the serum there. let's open it a little conk interesting so i did some things here inside to get the sound then we got some valhalla as well river, river shout out for amazing uh, reverberation for uh many years and track as well called valhalla which is interesting we have different minds on it but this uh, reverberation actually is really cool, you know, for many years. So I use here Valhalla Vintage Verb. Yeah, and with him. Yeah, also on the bus, if I just off this from the bus example, like it will be... I feel a bit weaker, so I did bus sand and do like again virtual tape machine, SSL, and some equalization on the low end, high end. It's really potent, I think, in the music, in the dance music. But we're talking uh, to see your balance between low frequencies and high frequencies. This is most important if you can sort out your uh, like from 20 gigahertz to 200 gigahertz and then from 
20,000 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz. It means your mix down will be clear, you know. The, the thing for me... Yeah, so it means the first part and we got the shower. On the first section of the drop we have the shower, on the second section of the drop we have African percussion and it's getting crazy. Then I was feeling that need some reverse effect on that shower sound and uh, like something like this, this in here. And this sound makes big sense, it's getting more crazy, more attention. So as there is high one effect, I reversed uh, some percussion or something and another it's shower sound, it's reversed as well. And then we got again shower. But there is already another thing going on. This is the tremolo, what we're using here. Yeah, it's getting more interesting then. And we get again. Then we have 112, I guess, the rhythm. Uh, 18, yeah, 18 of triplet. Yeah, it ends. And we're getting back to the melody, which is nice, I think. It gives that the production way, how you produce the track, You've been from the beginning adding those elements. You show this in the breakdown and show this in the end. And the for producing of the track way, it's really great to um, your track. It's keep going. You know, it's when it's if you example copy just first drop and it's gonna be second drop. It will be more boring. But if you have some things going on for the track, it means it's already art but if it's you just copy did it and it's more simple it's more template things but i like mm, when to producing the music that something changed all the way which makes the full picture and this is nice <laughs> Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching uh, our Armada University, it was Shapov and uh, today we check the project uh, Shapov at Nerek Valhalla. Thanks so much.